Big 12 discussing BYU as a possibly uh, football-only member, and this has to do with TV networks that have told them this is the only school in the country that you could bring in that's available, right, That's from a, a G5 perspective on up, that you would actually improve your TV contract if you brought them in. And I don't find that surprising whatsoever. There are actually, on average, more people that watch BYU games even later in the evening than watch Big 12 games between all of the other schools not named Oklahoma and Texas. I don't find that super surprising at all. I think that that is the the perfect team to bring in, and the Big 12 is desperate enough that they would be willing to work with a schedule that does not make them play on Sundays, does not, you know, all that kind of mess. Well, that's why, but hang on, if it's football only, they don't have that problem. Uh, true, true. I guarantee you that's the only reason it's football only is because well, they don't want to deal with the problems of basketball scheduling, gymnastics scheduling, all, all the other yeah. also ran schedules that you got to deal with. Well, and and you would have to buy them out of their their West Coast Conference deal, which oh, would yeah, not be right. a they, ton of money. in the West Coast Conference for everything else. That yeah. they're only that's right. That works out. So you don't want to bring that, them in for that. Let me you ask just you want this: to bring them for is, Do you think? They make more money on their own than they would joining the Big Twelve, though. Yes, I do because. So they, why would they do it? They no, no, no. I'm saying they. I misunderstood the question. They do, they make between six and ten million dollars individually, like it just by themselves. By, by themselves, and they could make fifteen to twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. The big, I uh, thought big they 12. made a lot more than that. Wow. No, no, they're they're solo, and that's that's their football deal with ESPN. Yeah. Their WCC that's deal right. is not worth very much. Not worth anything. I knew, um, and I knew that, but why, yeah. it shouldn't be. That's so fine. between six and ten million by themselves, and they are they stand to make fifteen to twenty if they join the if Big they, Twelve. So I, what would the Big Twelve look like? You'd have nine teams then. They, like they'd have to bring some more guys yeah. in to get them to twelve. Just the other schools you're bringing in aren't bringing your value up the way they currently sit. Right. Right. I think that you have to move to twelve. I think you've got to move to twelve if you're I going to do this. I think you've got to as well. Because I, if when you sit at ten and two of your schools are Oklahoma and Texas, well, yeah, that makes sense because you don't want to you don't want to spread the wealth out too much, and you're already going to be worth a ton of money because everybody knows that those two brands pay for themselves, right? Like they they handle it all. When you don't have those two brands, you're going to need some more schools to make better matchups. So I don't know what direction they go. I've been hearing a lot of rumors about they don't want to bring in Houston because of uh, Fertitta and whatnot. They yeah, apparently sure. they have not had good dealings with him. So maybe SMU like to to maintain a little Texas stronghold, but they've already got three teams in Texas already. I was just about to say they already have three teams. They would be stupid to bring in another school in Texas. I, I, I think it would make a ton more sense to bring in Memphis and Cincinnati and one other UCF. one, UCF probably. I don't know if they want to extend that far out because UCF is so Why far not? away. You go to hang on, UCF ain't no further away than West Virginia. Yeah, I just wonder if they regret the West Virginia thing. You can regret it all you want. You're getting a a portion of the fan base that you wouldn't normally get, and getting your ass into Florida ain't a bad thing. No, you're you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. And that's so, yeah. the only school. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm really shocked that. In five years, UCF will will bring their value up just based on who they are, and and then people will credit them joining the Big Twelve and saying, "Oh, look, you came here and you were evaluated here." No, they're on that trajectory anyway. They have the largest graduation class every year in the nation. They have the largest amount of alumni every year in the country that are new alumni. This is new money, okay? Yeah. When those guys all get into their fifties, UCF will be a financial powerhouse that you will want to be a part of. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I tend to so, agree. So if you land UCF, that's – I'll tell you this. If the a, the American and the South Sun Belt somehow does a weird split and and some teams go to the to the stay in the American, whatever, make a new American, and some teams go to the Big 12, whichever one has UCF will be the more dominant program in, in 10 years. Are the more dominant what conference? You think conference? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Because I think the money there is going to bring it, and you're going to have the state of Florida. Yeah, you're you're probably not wrong about that. I mean, you've got you've got USF, which has got a very comparable alumni base, but they mm. it's it's not the same. It's not. It's the same. not the same. Nope, you are correct about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.